Welcome to Darling Games, everyone. Today we are on the second day of Daisy Island, and we're going to see what Tom Nook has to say. So hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. It's 1023 a.m. Happy Sunday, October 2nd, 2022. Now for today's news, as of this very day, a brilliant fellow named Blathers will be joining us on Daisy. Blathers has taken a keen interest in biology past and present, and he's here to study Daisy. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive resident should stop by his tent for details. That's all for me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check our mailbox, see what we got. Jack sent us something. Ooh, because it's Halloween. I'll be creeping through on October 31st for Halloween, my dear pumpkins. Until then, contemplate this portrait of yours truly and get to work gathering lots of candy as all good minions should. Okay, wonderful. So we're gonna go ahead and take that. And then we got some rain boots that we had ordered, but our pockets are too full. So let's go in our new house that we just upgraded. Let's put some stuff away. Looks like our house got a little bit bigger. So we're gonna push some things to the edge. That way we have a little bit more space. And then we're gonna put some stuff up in storage, but we might just put things around. We'll see. All right, let's check out this portrait Jack gave us. We're gonna go ahead and hang it on the wall. Okay. And then let's see about, um, let's go ahead and put some stuff away. What do we have? We have a lawn chair and a tin bucket. We could probably put those right outside. We'll just go ahead and put the lawn chair right here. Why not? That way we've got a little place to sit right by our house. And then we'll just put the tin bucket right next to it. All right, now we have some rain boots in here. Let's grab that. And we have a large mushroom. Greetings from Happy Home Academy. Our goal, we want to help you make your home the best that it can be. Look for more messages from us as you hone your home decorating skills. A housewarming gift is attached. So let's see what this housewarming gift is that we've gotten. Oh, we got a DIY. Let's learn that. You can never have too many DIYs. Perfect. Let's go ahead and place this mushroom. I think we're just going to place it as you walk in, right? For right now, at least. We can always change it later. Let's see what Nook Miles we got here. We got a dream house Nook Mile for having our first house. Awesome. And then a Nook phone life. Okay, so that's all for today. We've got a bathroom towel rack that we could probably put in our house. And we've got some cherries that we need to plant, but we don't have a shovel yet. Let's go ahead and put some of this stuff up in our storage that we want to save. The things we want to save, I'm going to go ahead and put in the storage. So we want to save cherries and we want to save some apples because we need to plant both and then as far as the bugs um we probably at this point need to sell them so let's go out there and let's go sell some of these items we also need to go to blathers and see which items he still needs i gotta remember where i put blathers oh i put them down at the beach didn't i let's grab these couple of bugs on our way all right let's go into blathers tent and see if any of the stuff that we have in our pocket are things that blathers needs who a pleasure to meet you my name is blathers I am exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha, could it be that you are Darling, the personage who chose the location for this tent? I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to open a museum. Henceforth, dwell on this island amongst you. So should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though I confess, there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a proper museum. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in. What, what? Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too. As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you say? I can't just hop over it, you say. Who? Oh, silly you. I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entire deserted island. Pardon me, darling, while I transmit the vital data to your nook phone. There you see, with wood gathered from Daisy, one can make the lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go. Hooty hoot. I sent you DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well. Which brings me to my point. Please, darling, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on far too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open a museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit, 15 more to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. All right, so let's try to give him what we have in our pocket. We would like to make a donation, please. Okay, so some of these things are things that he needs, which is great. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give him another item as well. We're going to 
give him this long locust. We're done donating, so let's head on out. Today, I think the goal is going to be one, to pay off our rent that we have, our home loan, I guess you would say. We would need to go ahead and shake our trees to try and get our items and just to like try and get some acorns and things. Ooh, there's a bug. Let's grab that bug. I don't think we have that one yet. So the bagworm we do not have. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Oops, there went our flimsy net. We're going to go ahead and just place the bugs here so we know which ones we have to donate. Do I have another net? Yes, I do. So we're going to continue going through and try and get some acorns out of the trees and some sticks out of the trees so that we can make some tools and just kind of go around and do that to start. Start. I hear a balloon. Where is the balloon I hear? Oh, it's way over there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it, am I? Because I can't cross over that. Oops, there's some wasps. Let's grab them. Good deal. We got the wasps. Okay, we finished shaking all our trees. So let's talk to Tom Nook. So you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' home should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this puzzle. The two of you have been trained under me for how many years now? This should be a piece of cake. Well, hello there, darling. Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tents, hmm? You can freely change up the flooring and the wallpaper. And you've got some built-in storage, so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more. All homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. The HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis. They even send some rewards to members whose homes achieve high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to your new home loan. That'll be 98,000 bells, please. Uh, okay. Uh, don't worry. You can pay it back in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using the ABD for future on the Nook Shop. I think that's everything I need to tell you about the homes today, but I do have a nice surprise for you. I do hope you're ready for this. It's a premium miles attempt redemption item. A Nook Mile Ticket. A Nook Mile Ticket? Nook Mile Ticket is a special travel voucher you can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum, huh? We want to improve the island, but still hold on to the deserted island magic. Well, now you can do both. You can use one of these tickets to do some island hopping, adventuring. Yes, yes. Go anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for DIY projects. Your trip is yours to enjoy in the way you like. I've left your ticket at the counter in the airport, so use it. Now then, enjoy your life in your freshly built home. Indeed. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to make some axes so we can get wood in order to craft the shovel. Let's go ahead and talk to Timmy. We're going to sell some things to him. Oh, Timmy has something he wants to chat with us about. Let's see. It is a bit of a proposal, so if now's not a good time, I understand completely. No pressure. Sure. Very good. I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating on a venture building a new shop. After all, our little island community is growing and our needs are growing too. I'd love to offer a much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see, I am limited in here. I've already spoken with our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees that we have a need. Ah, but there is the thing. Building materials are hard to get, so can we set them aside for building a shop? I really don't see it since we'll need those materials for residential projects, but I have an idea. Yes, yes, you could gather up materials from around the island, right? From the trees and rocks. Our environment review even suggests that there will be a zero impact on the native flora and fauna. Ah, but I'm getting off track. We'll need a lot of materials for a proper shop, and we will, of course, offer compensation for your efforts. Okay, thank you so much. Now I know it's a lot, but I put together a list of items I'd like you to gather. We'll need 30 pieces of regular wood, hardwood, and softwood, and 30 iron nuggets. I'm not concerned about where these materials come from. They could come from this island or any other. And you can gather these materials at your own pace. Once you have a set of something, come see me. All right, let's go ahead and talk to him now about selling what we have in our pocket. Ooh, we get 4,000 bells. That's really good. Let's see if he has any flowers that we don't have yet. Let's do the what's for sale. So today there is a camp fire cookware and a hammock, which we could use those. Ooh, candy. Let's grab the candy. Yes, I want to buy one. Looks like we've got a pumpkin start, so we're definitely going to get that. Let's get five of them as 1400s. So we'll take five of them. I do not remember if we have yellow mums. So we're going to have to go out there and check it out. I am going to go ahead and buy this shovel and let's get some more pumpkin starts. Okay, and that will conclude our shopping for today. So we're just going to go around and chop some wood. That way we get the items that we need in order to build the shop and then also to make some of the tools that we just got from Blathers. Okay, so I chopped down a whole bunch of stuff but my axe broke my three axes that I had made so let's just go around and do the stones now and then we have a money spot also that way we can make some more axes but I do like to put two holes 
back behind the stones in the beginning so that you can actually get everything you need out of the stones since we're trying to one make money from like this stone but then also we're trying to get all of those iron nuggets and so we want to make sure we get everything out of the stone we possibly can but that didn't work I didn't do it well enough so let's go find the next one and see if we have better luck with the next one. Ooh, hang on a second we got to get this no darn we don't have a slingshot oh man I always forget in the beginning of the game to make sure to get that slingshot we did not buy that so let's see if we have better luck with this rock. Yay, we got them all. Awesome. Okay, and then we've got a money spot right here. So let's get our money tree. Oops, wrong spot. The only thing is, you know what? I should go around and pick up this money before I put anything in the money spot because I want to put as much money in there as I possibly can. Ooh, we got 10,000. All right, let's go back to our money spot and put it in. We barely got enough. I always like to do 10,000 for all my money trees. That way you get 30,000 in return. All right, so in a few days we will have a money tree. So it looks like after collecting stuff, we actually have 30 of all the wood. So let's go ahead and donate that to the shop and we're gonna have to find some more nuggets. So let's talk to Timmy and let him know that we're gonna donate all of this stuff to him. So we're gonna help the shop. I'd like to donate and we're gonna donate all of those, yes. So he's giving us a digital scale and a mama bear, yay, and a sea globe. Let's just put the mama bear down right here. Oh, it's a cute one, awesome. You could probably put the sea globe down here too. Let's check out what nook mile points we have right now. Looks like we got one for rocks. I definitely wanna get these double nook miles. So we're gonna have to do something about that because I'd kind of like to get the better tools. So hopefully we can collect a few Nook Miles today and get the better tool set. Looks like we've got quite a few that we've collected today. So we need to water eight flowers in order to get one. So let's go water some flowers. Do we have a watering can? No, we don't. Never mind. We're not going to water flowers. Um, let's go ahead and plant these pumpkin starts. Let's find a spot where we can just make like a really nice, large pumpkin field. Let's have a huge garden. Maybe I should figure out where I'm going to put Timmy and Tommy. Guys, I can get an ant. Hang on a second. I forgot about that. When you put the candy down, you can get an ant. Those are kind of hard to get. There we go. We got ourselves an ant. Let's go ahead and check in with the ABD and let's see if we can get like a better tool set or maybe we can make our pockets bigger. Okay, so we can get a pretty good tool set for 3,000 or we can get a pocket organizer for 5,000. I kind of feel like the pocket organizer is a little more important at this moment. So let's do that one first and then we'll try to gather the rest of the Nook Miles for the other one too. Let's talk to Tom Nook and see if Tom Nook has anything that specific that he wants us to do today. What should I do? Okay, so it looks like we just need to gather materials for the shop. Let's check this real quick before we go out. Still just the cardboard box. We're going to leave that in there. Okay, I feel like we should hop across the other side. Oh, you know what? We got a watering can. So let's hold that and let's go ahead and water some stuff so we can get more Nook Miles. We just have to water eight of them. Even though at this point watering them does absolutely nothing because you can't see the colors yet, so it doesn't really help them do anything, but that's okay. We wanna get the Nook Miles for it. Okay, that's enough. We got the Nook Miles, so let's see. All right, and then this one we have to spend bells. We need to buy some more things, which you can probably buy some more pumpkin starts, but we'll give it a little bit of time. And then we need to catch a sea bass, which that should be actually fairly easy to catch a sea bass. We need to turn in some seashells, grow a fruit tree, catch a bagworm. So let's decide where we're gonna go for our garden. And also we wanna make an orchard. We want the start of an orchard because especially in the beginning, that's like the best way to make money is through gardening and orchards and selling all your stuff. So we're gonna do that. So how about we head across the other sides over here and see where we wanna put things. I kind of almost feel like this area might be good for a garden and maybe we can put some of the orchard like back here in this area. Why don't we pick up a little bit over here and then we can kind of make that happen. Oh, I got the, I got the balloon, but it dropped up there on the cliff. So I won't be able to have the balloon until I get a ladder. You know, when I'm going around cleaning up the island and just like picking all the weeds, planting the trees where I want them to be and like moving stuff around, it's just so relaxing. This game for me has always been just so relaxing. I just, I love it. I love the fact that you can just just kind of lose yourself like in a video game and basically like all the things the negative stuff or whatever that's happening just seems like it kind of just fades away for a time while I'm just focusing on whatever it is I am trying to do in the video game so I, I really appreciate that about video games it's something that has really helped me in my life especially like in my adult life there was a period of time when I didn't play the video games as much because I you know was having kids and life was busy and I just didn't to be honest with you didn't really think about it 
It was something I had done as a kid. And then when I got back into it, it has just been so relaxing and I am so glad that I've done it because it has just been something that has um, kind of almost like just transformed the way that I am able to handle with like stress and outside negativity and that sort of thing. Oh, look, we have Gulliver. Let's talk to Gulliver. Come on, Gulliver, wake up, wake up. Oh, there we go, we got him up. He just takes forever to wake up. I know who you are. Yes, I kept nudging you right now and woke you up. I'm begging you, will you look for my communication parts? Communicator parts? Yes, of course I will look for them. My heart is almost as big as my head, really? Okay, so we're gonna find all these communicator parts for Gulliver. So let's get out our shovel. I saw one right here. There we go. Oops, wrong spot. There's our first communicator part. So in the meantime, while we're looking for these communicator parts, we're also gonna grab up these shells because we need to get some Nook Miles for selling shells. Ooh, we have a manila clam. Now we're gonna get another recipe. Wonderful. I like getting all the DIY recipes. It's one of my most favorite things about this is collecting all the recipes. Okay, we got another communicator part. So that's number two. Let's go back up the other way on the beach because I don't see any over here. Here's one right here too. That's number three. So we just got two more communicator communicator parts to find. Maybe let's go across to the other side of the beach. Maybe there's some over there. Yeah, I don't see. Any. Oh, there's one right here. Oops, I missed it. Okay, there's number four. So we just need one more. While we're over here, let's go ahead and plant these apple trees. I kind of made an orchard over here. So let's finish planting these trees. I'm doing one, two, three, four. Four. So I'm doing four spaces in between and then I'm also kind of staggering them. And the way I try to line trees up, if I can't like tell how many spaces it is, I just dig it up. This might be too far back. It is unfortunately. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three. We're gonna put one right here. Right now it looks kind of funky, but if I show you over here, then you're able to get to them a little easier. But like over here, see, they're just kind of staggered. And that way you can get all the fruit pretty easy off of the tree. So I always make an orchard on my brand new islands, always. I never am without an orchard because it's such a good money maker. All right, let's plant some more of these things. I bought some more. We're just trying to get a really big garden. Then I'm gonna have to water them all because um, we wanna make sure that they come in like three per plant so that we will make the extra money. Okay, so I think I just need six more or seven more. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I just need seven more because I'm keeping one spot from the edge on either, on all the sides. Okay, so we've got that. We've got the orchard started. I planted some new ones. We need to grab our cherry ones that we had been given that our mom gave us. Plant the cherry ones. Let's grab these butterflies. Oops, maybe. We can grab this dragonfly too, maybe, if I can catch it. All right, let's go over to the other beach and finish our thing with Gulliver and grab the rest of these shells. Oh, you know what? There's some bugs over here. If we sneak up on them really carefully, that we can grab them. Got one. Oh, we got our last part, I believe. I think this is the last communicator part. Let's double check. Yep, we've got five of them. I also hear a balloon. There it is. Let's go grab that balloon. For some reason, green ones, I always feel like are lucky. Like it seems like green ones have DIYs oftentimes. Okay, we are going to head back to Gulliver and give him these communicator parts that we found for him. Hello, Gulliver. We found all your communicator parts. Okay, mission complete. So we finished that one with Gulliver. Now, to be honest with you, really, I just need to sell some of this stuff. Let's go sell some things to Timmy and we might can catch a bug right over here. We'll catch an ant so we can sell him an ant too. I feel like I hear a balloon. Oh, my net broke. Do I hear a balloon again? I do. Um, I might have to go over to the other side though and wait for it. Yeah, let's do that. So I don't want to lose the balloon. Let's just hope it does not drop in the water. Oh good, it's safe. Okay, let's check our Nook Miles, see if we've got enough now. We do. We actually have enough to be able to go ahead and get the better tool recipe, so let's do that too. Um, we could actually water our produce and catch a sea bass. We need to still catch the sea bass. So we haven't even fished yet today, so we're going to make sure that we fish before the end of today because we want to... We've gotten plenty of bugs, we just have not fished at all. So we want to fish so that we can find that sea bass and get the double nook mile credit. So let's go into the ABD and get the better tools recipe. Okay, we want to redeem some nook miles. We might want to shop on there too. Okay, so we want to get the pretty cool, good tool recipe. Look at that. We still have miles left over. Maybe we should get a nook mile ticket. What do you guys think? We still need some iron. So we might need to go to an island and see if we can get some iron. The only thing is I hate to go to the island without a ladder just in case whoever's on the island. So we might wait till tomorrow to go to the island. I think we're going to wait till we get the ladder. But actually, now that I think of it, I don't think we get the ladder until after we complete the 
nook shop do we let's go ahead and get the cool hairstyles all right and let's check out and see if there's any items that we want to order oh we can get a hand cart let's get that we could use that definitely we could get a small mushroom platform we get two of those why don't we grab two of those Okay, that's it for this. We have like saved no money today. Every bit of money that we have made, we have spent on something today. Okay, let's go finish planting the rest of our pumpkins and this patch should be finished. Okay, you guys, this is the last one. Our pumpkin patch is finished. So now we just have to water them and wait for the pumpkins to sprout. Ooh, that flimsy can did not last very long. I have one more over on the beach that I'll grab, but I'm gonna have to make some more in order to even water that whole thing. I really need, need to make like a better tool recipe for the watering can. But then I hate to do that because then I have to use my nuggets. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and just make a little bit better um, watering can because that's gonna take us forever and we're gonna have to make a ton of them if we don't just make this one a little bit better. All right, let's go finish watering. We're gonna finish watering all of these pumpkins. This will go so much faster now. All of our pumpkins are watered and sparkling, so we're done with that. Let us talk to our other villagers. We have not talked to them today. To, to be honest, I haven't even seen them. Are they both in their houses? Yes, they are. They're both in their houses. Let's talk to Phoebe. She's officially moved from tent life. I was trying to see if I had anything to give Phoebe, but I really don't. So let's go next door. All right, Flip, what's up? Okay, so no nuggets or nook miles from either one of them. No nuggets or DIYs, I should say. Because usually it seems like they're DIYing in their house, but maybe you have to wait a couple of days before that starts happening. All right, so why don't we go ahead and drop this stuff and we can go ahead and go to another island. We'll drop the watering can. Let's see what we got as our DIY. A wooden table mirror. Good job because we needed that. That way we can change our hair. And then let's see what we got from the dropped balloons. We got a wall clock and a school jacket, a spooky arch, good, a cycling shirt and campfire cookware. So let's learn the spooky arch. Let's see what the school jacket looks like. Oh, it's actually kind of cute. We'll wear that. Hey, Flip. Oh, good. Flip's gonna give me some stuff. Yay. Awesome. I was thinking I wasn't gonna get those. So now I have 14 iron nuggets. So I think we need to go to an island. I don't know if we're gonna get 16 on an island, but let's go try. Actually, let's get another book mile ticket because I bet if we go to two islands, we could get it. Let's talk to Orville about going to one of the islands so that we can get some more um, iron ore, iron nuggets. I'm so used to playing Stardew Valley here lately. Yeah, let's use our Nook Mile ticket. All right, we're at our first island. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, we've got some mums. We don't have the white mums, so we want to probably collect a few of those. And there is a villager here. Let's see who the villager is. Okay, where are they? Oh, it is a pink panda. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Pinky. Oh, I've never seen Pinky before. She is kind of cute. I kind of like her. You know, I'm so simple when it comes to villagers. If they're cute, I like them and I'll bring them to my island. So we're going to bring Pinky. I kind of like her. I've never had her and I've actually never seen her. So we're going to bring her to the island. We'll just have to give her a different dress or something. We're going to grab some of these um, coconuts. That way we can plant coconut trees all over our island. Let's see which DIY we got. An iron laddered setup kit. Okay. We'll take that. That'll probably be something, well, once we pay off the Nook's shop with all the iron that we can probably set up a ladder that goes up on the hillside and that'll cost us a lot less than um, trying to get enough money for all the ramps. So that's actually a really good one. I like that. Let's grab some of these white flowers. We had five of the yellow and five of the red. So let's just grab five white. All right, let's look and see how much we have. We have 24 iron nuggets. So we're really close to having enough. We just probably need to go to one more island. So we're going to do that. Let's catch a couple bugs first if we can before we go back so we can sell them because we are broke. Looks like our pockets are full. So let's go home. We sold everything that we made from that island. So we're going to grab another Nook Mile ticket. And it looks like we've got 19,000 bells and we've got 24 iron. So we need to get six more iron and then we'll just grab whatever we can grab to make some money so that way we can sell it when we get back and then that will be well maybe not quite it for today we still have to donate some stuff to blathers all right we're on our second island let's see who the villager is over here Ooh, we are not going to take him so we're good with that let's just collect our stuff from the island then and ooh, crap we forgot to bring a so we're gonna just shake this tree so that we can get some wood and make a net because i don't want to get stung i want to sell that wasp Okay, we have enough to make the net, so let's go ahead and make the net really quick, and then we can go around and shake all our trees. We got almost enough just with this one rock, because we got five of them, so I think we just need one more iron, so we should be able to get that. There it is, our last nuggets that we need, so we should be good to start the shop. Oh no, I forgot to shake that tree. <laughs> oh no, that's terrible. 
I can't believe I did that. I forgot. All right, it looks like I got everything I needed to get from here so we can go home with our her eye and everything. Let's go ahead and give him the iron nuggets. That way we can finish with the shop and then we can go place the shop somewhere. These are for you. All right, so now we get to go place the new shop where we want to place it. Let's go take a look. What if we put it out here by the plaza? Okay, we're gonna put it right here. Hopefully this lines up with the plaza, but I guess we'll find out tomorrow when we get it built. Because my thought was, is that if we decided to do streets right here, we have a wide enough space for streets and then we could have like kind of a front area display area in front of the nooks. I don't know. Maybe that's not a good idea, but that's what we're going to do for now. We can always move it if we don't like it. And then maybe we can place the Able Sisters over here. I believe we have enough stuff to donate to Blathers. So let's try donating all of this and see if we can maybe get the museum built tomorrow as well. Oh, it looks like we donated enough to get the museum. We've acquired the correct number of specimens. We've met our don donation goal. All right, so the extras that we have, we'll just go ahead and place on the ground here. For some reason, I thought we had to donate more than this, but that is okay. We'll just donate them tomorrow or whenever. I, th I don't think it opens the next day. I think it's a couple of days before it opens, but that's okay. So to recap what we accomplished today, we got Nook's Cranny set up. We finished off the museum. So the museum should be coming up for us. We created this awesome pumpkin patch. We also have the start of our orchard. So we should be able to use a lot of the stuff and sell it. And I think that's a pretty good start for the beginning of the island on day two. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me at Darling Games. And I will We'll see you next time. Bye.